today we are in a place first charted by Lewis and Clark in 1804. It's consistently voted the best day trip outside of Kansas City. And home to one of what we consider the best distilleries in the state of Missouri. Of course, we're here for the bourbon. Yeah. So let's go see what makes this place so special. That's art. That is a work of art. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Weston, Missouri. I'm Arthur. And I'm Scott. And this is Artfully Bourbon. Let's go. A short walk across the street, we enter into the Celtic Ranch. The whiskey snug is through this little door in the back of the store, a speakeasy of sorts. Yeah, this is a busy little place. Lots of whiskey and bourbon on these shelves. Have you seen this mythology before? I have not seen that in person, but I believe it comes from Colorado. Let us know if it's any good. Someone just suggested this infinite oak from Washington, Missouri. Don't really know much about it though. More mythology, the bottles have an old elk shape to them. There's a Jephthah Creed? Yeah, that's a Kentucky bourbon. We have not tried this, but the bottle looks amazing. $75 for an old Forester 1910? Not today. Have you tried any of these? Same old Moses is from Oklahoma. The local shelf. We got Riegers, Ben Holiday, West Bottoms. Lots of Union Horse. It's been a while since I've had their standard bourbon whiskey. Any recommendations here? Don't forget about Tom's Town. What do you think is up here? A tasting room and lounge. This is awesome. The Whiskey Snug has over 1,100 whiskeys and many of them are available to try neat or in a cocktail. A really cool place and a must go if you are in Weston. Unfortunately, the bourbon prices were a little high for us. We didn't end up getting any bottles at this location. Okay, let's try another. Weston is home to McCormick Distilling. And here is their store on Main Street. They produce premium products, but also you might recognize them by the plastic bottles on the bottom shelf at your local store. They are also the parent company of the Holiday Distillery, a premium craft bourbon distiller. I hear it's home to 25 cent samples. Oh yeah? Unfortunately, those 25 cent samples do not include the Holiday Bourbon. You know what that means. Yep, we must go. Off to the Holiday Distillery, just outside the town of Weston. But before we taste, Let's take a tour of this historic place. What a beautiful place. This is our tour guide, Heather. She is Holiday's guest relations manager and she went out of her way to give us a private tour. All right, this is our first stop. This building was the original pavilion with an outdoor bar. An addition was recently added for larger events and now has garage doors to maintain the open air feel. And one of the original stills is being repurposed as the new bar in this building. Just off the side of this building, 
is a bottling line for their premium bottles and private barrel selections. This is where we are going to bottle like our ancient cave collection, our rickhouse proof, our single barrel picks. Um, the copper pipe that you see on the ceiling here, that actually will transport the bourbon from the still house. There's a dump trough there where they will dump the barrel and then siphon it into these production tanks here. It's the Bonded Ancient Cave. It's a climate controlled finishing cave. Some smoked and double oak bourbon was just released and there are also hickory smoked barrels in here. The land was originally charted by Lewis and Clark for its natural limestone springs. Here is one of those, in the cave. And this cistern was hand dug in the mid 1800s. So we are actually just pulling water from underground, collecting it here, and we'll use this water for cooking our grains. They pull about 2,000 gallons of water a day for cooking grains. New barrels in line, ready to be filled. The barrels go in this building, are filled, and they go right back out to head to the rickhouse for aging. Grains are also fed here for cooking. This soft red wheat is ready for aging. See you in six to 10 years. So this is the dump trough for the private barrel bottling line we saw earlier. And transport to the rickhouse. We took a little bonus tour through the basement of the still house to see the bottom of the distillation column. And now up to the top floor. So Holiday currently has three mash bills. The corn is an older recipe. The rye mash bill is 73% corn, 15% rye, and 12% malted barley. And the wheat is similar mash bill at 73% corn, 15% soft red wheat, and 12% malted barley. Okay, on to cooking and fermentation. No peeking inside today. They were just filled, so they must do their thing. After cooking, it's fermentation time. According to the chalkboard, this is the soft red wheat mash bill. This one was filled just yesterday. The yeast is consuming the sugars and releasing heat. Have you ever tasted this? It's not really hot though. What about fresh white dog, 130 proof? Surprisingly flavorful. Yeah, this is actually what goes into the barrel. This is supposedly what Mountain Dew was created for. We gotta try that sometime. Have you tried Mountain Dew and white dog? Let us know in the comments. Now we head to the rickhouse, the internal revenue bonded warehouse, letter C. Man, seven floors of barrels. I spy 10 year old barrels coming to us in just a few more years.
This is an example of a stave. So this is at char level three. This is an example of that devil's cut. That is that line where the distillate has mm -hmm. swelled into the stave. In 2018, the Missouri Bourbon Act was created. That means you have to have your barrels manufactured in Missouri, your corn needs to be from Missouri, and the whole process needs to be done in Missouri. So that allows us to put real Missouri bourbon on our label. Authentic, real Missouri bourbon. It is a real thing and we need to taste it. But first, let's take a tour of master distiller Kyle Merkline's private collection, or his bourbon office, or lab, or as Holiday calls it, the bourbon library. Home to all the barrel picks they have done. We need to do this. One day, and we will share it with all of you. Okay, now to the tasting. We've had their standard pours, so let's try some limited edition pours. Sounds good to me. Let's try the Shorty One Barrel. Mmm, Missouri Hug. I love the rye mash bill. Next, we tried the William Clark One Barrel. We also had to try the distillery only Ancient Cave Collection. Both the smoke and double oak were amazing. Surprised, but we actually liked the smoked better than the double oaked. These were both amazing and Heather hooked us up with a couple of bottles for our collection. We also took home the William Clark One Barrel that we tried at the distillery. If you are in Kansas City, we highly recommend taking the 45 minute road trip up north to Weston. Yeah, it was a great trip. And our friends over at the Holiday Distillery were really accommodating. Thanks to everyone who went above and beyond today. If you liked this episode, hit that like button below. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy responsibly. Peace. <laughs>